Remember your school cafeteria days? Every day wasn't a good day. New this morning, Spelman students and their parents, they want to see some change because they're not happy with the food on campus. Get this, they said some of it is expired and even undercooked. It's pushing a lot of students to skip meals that they've already paid a lot of money for. Ariana Manis joining us in studio. Ariana, you talked to some parents, even to a student here. Yeah, that's right. Good morning, Cheryl and Aisha. Parents say their daughters, at this point, they're refusing to eat inside of the dining hall because of the quality of food. And one student tells me that they're spending thousands on this meal plan that they're not even using. Now, a group of Spelman parents, they sent this letter to the college's new president, Dr. Helene Gill. Parents, they expressed displeasure over the limited dining hall hours, quality of food, mislabeled food items, and lack of healthy food options. The college's vice president for student affairs, Daryl Holloman, invited parents to a virtual town hall where those parents say they felt the college fell short of addressing those concerns listed in the letter. 11 Alive, they re we received a statement from Holloman, which says that we have and will continue to provide students with a positive and healthy and wellness experience at Spelman College, which includes dining. And they go on to say that supply chaining staff and challenges impacted dining services. Now, parents, they tell me that the college, they should reimburse them a portion of that meal plan that they're paying thousands for. We're paying almost, you know, $4,000 a semester for an unlimited meal plan that they're not even using. She hasn't used that meal plan since September 13th. And then you're saying you're only getting 60% of your food in, well, then reimburse us the other 40%. As far as an immediate solution, parents say they have asked the college to allow kids, to, students rather, to keep refrigerators in their dorm rooms. As of right now, they're only allowed to have a community refrigerator. Meanwhile, now we reached out to Airmark, which is Spelman College's food vendor, about those parents' concerns, and we're waiting to hear back. Back to you. Ariana, thank you.